So the first thing I'm going to do is the cockpit and I'm going to start out with the pilot of which the model comes with three, a Return of the Jedi pilot, a standing pilot, and an original New Hope pilot. And the pilot from A New Hope is what I'll be using is my goal is to make this the gold leader Y-Wing. So here we have my little teeny pilot and I'm gonna start out by uh, attaching him to a toothpick here and then um, giving him a coat of primer. And here we have the primer applied so he's ready to be painted. So I printed out some photos of the gold leader from the movie because I want to try to match this orange. And it comes with some decals for the helmet, um, some of the little teeny stuff. For example, it's got the decals of the checkerboard on the side here and here. And then it has a decal for the uh, center of the helmet. And then here it shows you the placement of where they go. So I'm going to start out by making my own orange using flat red, flat yellow, and some flat white. I'm going to mix it myself and try to come as close to possible as the orange from the film. And I just finished mixing this up. Do a little test here. And I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty close to the actual color. So it's time to uh, airbrush some orange onto my pilot. All right, here we are with the uh, orange applied to the pilot. So, looks good. Looks like the color of the actual film. So I'm gonna start out by painting the uh, feet and the gloves black. Alright, so we've got the uh, shoes and the gloves painted. Alright, and here we have paints that I'll be using to paint the rest of the pilot. And I've already painted the pilot. Sorry, I'm not showing that, but it's just so small and finely detailed, and I'm using a magnifying glass. It's just too hard to get a camera in there. So I have him fully painted now, and I'm uh, going to spray him with a coat of gloss to apply the decals to the helmet and finish off the detailing. And to start with, I'm going to use one of these decals for the uh, side of the helmet that looks kind of like a checkerboard. And then I'm going to put it in some water so that I can uh, apply it to the model. So here he is with the uh, decals applied, the checkerboards on the side and the ones in the middle, front and middle back. And then I'm going to go through and uh, do some little bit of dirtying up of his outfit with some pastels. And I've also painted his seat, done a little dirtying and weathering on that as well. And he just fits right inside there. So it's on to the cockpit, and I bought this photo etching. Uh, this comes from Green Strawberry is the name of the company. I usually deal with paragraphics, but he has not done any photo etching for this particular kit. So this has a lot of photo etching for the model. But to start with, um, here's the center console of the cockpit, and then here we have the port and starboard sides of the cockpit. So I'm going to start by removing these from the uh, photo etch. Alright, so here they are all removed, and this little piece here gets added onto the center console just to add a little more depth to the unit. So the center console piece will go right here in the model. And we have these side photo etch pieces. So because I'm lighting this I need to remove the plastic here and here for the side pieces and I need to cut out this entire piece of plastic here 
for the center console photo etch. So I've cut out all the front plastic. Uh, I need to do a little cleanup here, but it's all cut away for the center console. And that'll just fit in there like so, and then I'll backlight it with an LED. And here's just kind of a test fitting. You can see how it fits inside the cockpit. So first I'm going to glue this little piece on here. And now that I've got that glued, it comes with these little decals, as you can see here, to color the lights so that they can be seen. It comes with ones for the sides, but I won't be using those. I'm actually going to paint the sides, but I will be using the decal for the center console. I've cut a hole in the bottom here for the wires for my LED to come in. So I'm going to start out by drilling some holes into the sides. And now that I've got holes drilled, I'm going to take an X-Acto blade and just cut away the excess. And I've got most of it cut away here. I just need to do a little bit more cleanup. And now I've got the port and starboard photo etch glued in place. And you can see light shining through the little holes that will be lights for the cockpit. So time to prime all this stuff up so that I can get painting on it. And just being primed it already looks much better. It looks more like it's a solid piece rather than something stuck on there. So I'm going to start by uh, painting the entire cockpit with a medium gray. And just a little test fit to see how it fits inside the uh, nose of the ship. It just kind of goes right in place right there. And you can kind of see light shining through how when I put LEDs back there it'll come through and you'll see lights in the cockpit. So I'm going to start painting the center console just to add a little more detail to it. Some dark gray, a little bit of silver outlining, and a little bit of white in the buttons. And here it is pretty much painted. And I'm going to cut out that decal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in place behind the center photo etch as I have done here. And then now I've glued it onto the center portion of the cockpit. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make a light box here so that when the LED lights up it'll all be contained and show through the uh, holes in the photo etch evenly. So I'm going to build myself a little light box out of some styrene here. And here you can see my box that I've built. And because it's white, all the light will just be reflected back through the decal. Painted this portion here white. Capping it here with a little piece that has a hole for my LED to go through. And then painting all of this black to block out any light leaks. And here's the SMD LED to do a quick little test. I don't see any leaks and the center console lights up quite nicely. So I've done some wash on the back area here and now I've added some pastels like rust and other colors and done some painting on the sides of the cockpit as well. Some dark gray areas and the red stripe like can be seen in the movie. And I'm going to use these decals here as a reference to fill in the holes on the sides of the photo etch. So I have taken a photo and put them in reverse and I'm going to use clear yellow and clear red 
and paint the back side of the photo etch so that when light shines through you will see the color come through. So I'm going to start out by painting the uh, back sides of the photo etch, the holes that need to be red. I'm going to paint all of those red. And here you can see all the holes filled in with clear red that need to be. And now I've done the yellow and you can see how light shines through and it makes it look like red and yellow lights and white where I haven't applied any colors. And you can see in this photo here and this photo here the hoses that are running around the cockpit behind them. And you can see it in this set photo here. So originally I've seen people use one thicker piece of wire like so and then take a very small wire like magnet wire and just wrap around the other wire to create a homemade type of corrugated hose but it's just not to scale and I'm not too happy with the looks of that so it occurred to me guitar string actually has that um, corrugated texture to it so I bought a whole pack of guitar string and these are the two smallest guitar strings that I was able to get and I'm going to bend them in place to how I want them and cut them to length and put them in the cockpit so I'm going to drill a little hole here for that one starboard side that I just cut and it just goes through the floor and sticks in place like so and I've done it for all four of these hoses that I've done here <clears throat> they all go into the floor and or the back of the uh, cockpit so I'll give those guys a coat of primer obviously I'm not going to leave them gold and here they are all primed and then I'm just going to do some black wash over them to bring out the texture of them and then I'm going to use some pastels of brown, mud, dirt, and such to make them dirty and glue them all in place. All right, and they're all glued in place now. And I've used Elmer's glue right here and glued my SMD into my light box and added some more black paint for light blocking and I'm gonna take the wires from the LED and run them through the hole of the cockpit that I had cut out earlier and mount my centerpiece and a quick little light test and it's looking good And here it is next to a dime just as a scale reference. And a quick test in the nose cone of the ship with some LEDs on the sides to see how it'll look ultimately. So that's it for my cockpit for now. Um, gonna start working on more of the model. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.